On a side street, roads completely covered with snow, with slush, you name it. It's a slow go in certain spots here in the metro. We're also over in the East Metro in St. Paul. You can see snow covered streets, sidewalks. This is off of the Grand Avenue area. This intersection though is looking a lot better. Just a lot of splashing happening. We're going to be checking in with CC. She's also live in St. Paul in a, a little bit here. And within the last few hours, we've been getting a lot of videos, pictures from you guys, our sunrisers from your neighborhood. Keep them coming. This one from Lori. Love to see it. Tim J. Good morning, Tim up in Sock Rapids and Chris Doffing. That is nice. Some beautiful big flakes that were falling there. And this morning, as you can see, more schools and businesses are delayed or closed because of this winter weather. You can find them scrolling right now at the bottom of your screen. You can also go to carelovencom slash closings for a complete list. Let's get out to Guy, though. He's been tracking this uh, what started as a weather warning day yesterday. Now and today with that snow still falling in certain spots. Exactly. And Alicia, as you and I both know, and really our whole Care 11 morning staff, it was very slick this morning. Snow was coming down. Heavy snow that has pushed off north and east. So if you're still watching North Metro, Northeast Metro, Western Wisconsin, you're still finding some heavy snow. Things much lighter here in West Metro and most of the Twin Cities Metro. Things are actually starting to decrease and diminish. And for the day ahead, things are going to be quiet. Lunchtime, quiet evening time, maybe some areas with drizzle, but we're not expecting any slowdowns or anything like that for the day ahead and I'll show you why here uh, after I tune into some folks that are finding some heavy snow. East Bethel finding some heavy snow. Again, Star Prairie as you head north. St. Cloud finally getting a little bit of some relief and especially along 94 finding some relief with the snow. Snow will continue north today. That's where we're finding winter storm warnings. But look at this off to the south. Look at this dry air. Not much of anything happening. That is going to advance and slide over the metro today. So today uh, will be a slow, a, a, a slow weather day, which is great. We need it after a morning like that. But I'll let you know when we'll find some snow and when things pick right back up coming up here in just a bit. All right, thank you, Gabby. We have our first traffic alert of the morning. That comes to us uh, between Maple Grove and Plymouth, 494 southbound right before you hit County Road 9. You see we got a crash on the left hand side there 494 southbound. It is blocking the lane of traffic and as you can see it is slowing traffic in that area. This is the first I would say significant slowdown I've seen of the morning. Overall though roads are starting to look a bit better. We are going to look at that full map coming up in just a few minutes. But first we want to head out to our photographer Jack Stanick who is in mobile 11 for us this morning. I believe he is in Plymouth. Hi Jack. Hi, yeah, it is a completely different experience out here than it was this morning, at least where I am in the West Metro where I've been sticking around. Um, I've been on the side streets and the main roads and the snow stopped falling uh, has definitely changed the experience, though it is still, as you can see, a little bit slick. It hasn't been fully cleared, but uh, the plows have done their jobs remarkably in this short period of time and it's definitely a lot better, but you still want to stay careful as you're driving just in case you hit one of those spots that still needs to be covered. And we see Jack keeping plenty of distance behind the driver in front of him. We thank you for that report, Jack. Continue to drive safe and we'll check back very soon. Meanwhile, as you heard from Jack Plows, they've been working through the night to keep the roads as safe as possible for drivers. Just take a look at this new video from overnight. You can see Plows already clearing the streets and highways. And this morning we do have team coverage. CC Gaines is live in St. Paul with what things look like there, but let's start with Eva Anderson live in Golden Valley at MnDOT's snowplow building. Eva, what's MnDOT's game plan of attack today? Well, Alicia, they have 800 plows statewide. One of them is right behind me loading up with uh, some more sand. And as Jack mentioned, they've done their job remarkably and they're still going to continue doing their jobs. Uh, throughout the night, overnight hours, and into the day. MnDOT tells us they're monitoring conditions through the night, which includes the snow we saw fall earlier, and now it's a lot of slush. They also so say that the wind we're experiencing is going to impact road conditions, blowing snow onto the roadways. MnDOT's plows cover 30,000 miles statewide, and they're working as quickly as they can to take care of the roads in the mix of all these elements. 
they all have a route that they follow. Some are 10 to 20 to 30 miles long, depending upon where they are in the state. So it does take time to get to every lane of traffic up and down the ramp. So if you don't see them right away, trust me, they are out there. And if you want to know exactly where they've been, you can go to 511mn.org. Also on your mobile phone, you can get the 511 MN app and check what areas snow plows have covered. And as I mentioned, these conditions have been changing. CC has been keeping track of them as they continue to evolve. Yeah, let's get to CC right now. She's been live hey, over Eva, in the yeah, East Metro. Have... Hey, CC, how's it looking? Hey, Eva. Hey, Alicia. Yeah, uh, conditions definitely have changed where we are in St. Paul. The snow, I can report, has stopped here uh, within the last maybe 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Now we're just dealing with the aftermath here. Very slushy roads. If we take a look here, uh, drivers have been whizzing past us all morning and it's very slushy. Not seeing so much ice. We've actually moved a block over onto Snelling here. Just a lot of slush happening, not so much ice. So that's good for that part. But if you're going on Grand, there's definitely still that ice happening. A lot of packed in snow as well. But now we, we're not dealing with the snow cover. So that's um, something that's great. We've seen at least seven plows outside uh, around here, making sure the roads are clear and getting the sidewalks cleared off as well for people catching the bus. We are next to a bus stop right now. But um, yes, roads are definitely improved slightly since the snow has stopped, but still a lot of work to do here on the roads. For now, I'll send things back over to you. CC, thank you so much uh, for that report. We'll check back in a little bit. And hey, if you're headed to the airport, make sure to double check your flights this week. This is a list of MSP's departures and arrivals. At last check, there are 13 canceled flights and we're still seeing about seven delays. And we are getting a live picture from Duluth right now. Hard to see, but that is Canal Park, as you can see, or kind of barely make out the, the Harbor Cam. A lot of snow completely covering the camera in that area. They are under a blizzard warning this morning. Meteorologists, I just asked Guy, are expecting one to two feet of snow along the North Shore. So if you have any plans to maybe go to Bentleyville to see all the holiday lights, maybe make arrangements there. And take a look at this new video we got overnight of snow in South Dakota from State's Highway Patrol. You can see just how fast snow covered the roads there. And this is a great time not to forget to get our Care 11 weather app, especially on days like today. You're going to want a free tool in the palm of your hand. You get personalized forecasts for your neighborhood, live radar and weather alerts. You can find this app wherever you get your apps. Well, in just a few hours, we're going to find out if Minnesota nurses are back on contract. The Nurses Association is announcing results of their contract vote at 1230. Many nurses across the state have been working without a contract for nearly eight months. The new agreement includes an 18% pay in increase in the Twin Cities and 17% in Duluth. It also addresses understaffing, which was one of the biggest sticking points during their negotiations. A 14-year-old boy is in critical con condition this morning after allegedly crashing a stolen Kia in Minneapolis on Sunday night. Now Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara is asking for accountability. These are literally children involved in this. And it's absolutely tragic because what they are learning is that they can be involved in this, they can be riding in one of these cars, and even if the police pick them up, they're immediately released. According to Minneapolis police, Kia and Hyundai thefts are up 900% from last year and are increasingly involved in crashes and used in violent crimes. O'Hara is calling for both owners and automakers to be part of the solution. Hyundai tells us that they are now providing steering wheel locks to law enforcement and are developing a software update. O'Hara is asking owners to start using those locks immediately. In a matter of hours, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates again. It will be the seventh time this year. The move comes as most of the country is finally seeing inflation drop. Here in Minnesota, inflation is down more than 7% in the last month. Take a look at this new video from our very own Care 11 parking lot. This was just as the snow started to fall. Pretty, pretty stuff. Uh, the flakes really big as well. Not ideal for parking, but hopefully we can get some plows to come and finally clear our lots. And this is just the start of the snowfall. Let's get out to Guy. Certain spots, it's already stopped as we can see here in Golden Valley. Yep. But still coming down. Oh, that scene this morning, Alicia, as we all know, it was so tough getting into work this morning. Uh, roads were just terrible, but now we're starting to see improvement and roads will continue 
to improve throughout the day. Now, it really depends on where you're watching from this morning. So if you're just now joining us, Northeast, North Metro, still finding some pockets of heavy snow. But the most of us, things are turning much lighter. And in, in fact, right now, I don't even think I've seen a flake here in the Care 11 yard for the past you know 10 minutes or so. So it looks like things are starting to let up. Once things let up like we're seeing, we're not expecting any more snow today. So that's some good news. Let's zoom in here. We'll find some areas finding the heavier snow, a sharp cutoff, sharp gradient to no snow to heavy snow. East Bethel finding some heavy snow more, especially as you go 35 north from the Twin Cities to Duluth completely uh, seeing heavy snowfall right now, and that's going to be the case throughout the daytime. Again, St. Cloud starting to see some improvement as well. Off to the south, quiet, nice and quiet for Faribault down to, or rather Lakeville down to Faribault, Waconia, Hutchinson. Things nice and quiet. Southeast Metro as well, Scott, Dakota County. So we're making improvement in the atmosphere and on the roads. So that's some good news. You can see this dry air off to the south. This will slide overhead. So today looks dry. We're going to shut off the snow, the rain, the sleet, all of that. We'll shut that off today and the snow will return tonight into tomorrow. So prep for another slick commute tomorrow and not just for the morning hours. I'm talking about a slick drive, both commutes, morning and evening commutes for Thursday. Right now, cloudy, Tw uh, 34 feels like 24, east wind 15 miles per hour. Here's the next 12 hours, maybe a few pockets of some showers later, maybe a drizzle, temperatures up to 38. Watch this, tonight after 10 o'clock, We'll see rain changing over to snow after midnight. All snow temps in the mid 30s. It could be a rough commute tomorrow. Make sure you come back and join us on Care 11. We'll have meteorologist Ben Derry keeping you updated on conditions. I'll be off. Here's your uh, three day forecast. Temperatures cool off up to 28 down to 28 on Friday. All right, thank you, Guy. 611 right now, that crash I told you about in Plymouth, 494 southbound, that was slowing things down. That is cleared, so traffic should be starting to pick back up again, 494 southbound. But I do want to tell you about this crash, 35W northbound. Let's take a look at it. Doesn't appear to be causing or a major impact to traffic, but it's the northbound lanes uh, right around the exit to 2nd Avenue. We've got a crash you can see right off on the left hand side. Roads are still slick. The good news. It does appear that things are getting better as the morning progresses here. Those plows have been out. We heard Jack talking about how hard they've been working, clearing the roads. So just take it a little bit slower. You should be okay, though. We'll be back after this.